We first launched back at Google I.O. in 2014, and over that more than two years, we've really learned what people want from their smartwatches. So we've focused our effort with Wear 2.0 and designing the system around those things that people are super active with. So that's watch faces, messaging, and fitness. And for watch faces, we've made it possible for you to really tailor both the style and the information that you get on the watch face. We've also focused on messaging. So we've redesigned the stream of cards that you see from notifications so that it's much faster to get into and you have direct actions allowing you to reply to messages. So I can tap right here and I get a range of input mechanisms. I can speak voice, sketch emoji, use a keyboard, or for the first time we have smart reply. This actually looks at the content of the message and gives me suggested replies. The third is fitness. And there are really two types of things that people want to do. One is to set goals like a certain step count per day. And the other is to actually actively track a workout. We've redesigned the Google Fit app, which is part of the platform with this update to really bring those uh, use cases to the fore. You have made quite a few changes to the UI as well though, right? It's much simpler to use now than it was before. That's right. So for instance, if you take a look at quick settings, you can see that each of the settings that you use most frequently is right there with a single tap away. In the notification stream, every notification is presented as a card and you just scroll vertically between them. We also have a great new app launcher with a single tap from the watch face. And we've integrated the Google Assistant for the first time in the watches. So at any screen, including when uh, it's in always on mode, you just press and hold the side button to launch into the Google Assistant. What's playing at the movies? Why did you decide to work with a partner on this instead of doing a pixel branded phone? As this was rumored before this launch. The approach that we've taken right from the start in Android Wear is really to build an ecosystem of partners by working with both our traditional partners in the consumer electronics space, but also new partners in the fashion and style space. We think that's the right way to create a diverse set of designs that people will actually want to wear. The LG Watch Sport and LG Watch Style launched on February 10th and a lot of existing devices in the ecosystem will receive the update to Wear 2.0 uh, from mid-February onwards. You'll also see more devices come out from other partners through the year running Wear 2.0. In fact, Casio already announced the device um, at CES, and there have been some other uh, announcements recently, and we're very excited about some of the devices that are just around the corner.